everyone i hope all of you are doing great so in this lesson we are going to learn about how to create telegram mini app or mini game app whatever you want to call it so you might have seen uh, games like tap swap where you can just tap and you earn some coins or whatever okay so there are uh, various kind of apps you can create you can also create your own e-commerce uh, application you can also create any learning management solution maybe any ticketing solution whatever within telegram itself so i'm going to show you how all of those things work uh, here you can see this is tg tab swap bot which i have created and here you can see a play icon so if i click on play icon it is going to load this game and this is just pretty simple game i can just click on tap me and whatever number of time i click on it uh, the score increases and then i can click on submit score and then my score is going to get captured now of course you can do various other things for example rather than showing the score here you can score uh, set the score in a or you can store the score in a database or you may perform some other operations okay or you may want to uh, allow users to play the game again okay so it all depends on how you want to uh, create these gaming app okay so it's just that easy it's just like creating any other web application so let's go ahead let me show you how all of this is going to work and by the way this request came from uh, one of the subscriber of the channel and he wanted to know how this kind of basically gaming bot is created on telegram so now if you see here this is the basically kind of things you need one thing you need is you need any HTML program which is having the complete uh, gaming code. Okay, this uh, now this is a pretty straight example. That's why I'm just having single file called game.html, and this is just a standalone HTML. Okay, which is having some JavaScript code, and I have generated it using uh, ChatGPT or DeepSeek. But you can actually buy a gaming uh, HTML game. Okay, there are many websites uh, which sells HTML games so you can just go ahead and buy it if you want to get it created from developer you can find many people from fiverr uh, let's say if you need help uh, in telegram bots you can also reach out to me on fiverr i'm going to give the link in the description okay so this is one thing you need a game.html and then you need some kind of a web server to run it now in this case i'm using flask so that's why you see i have a file called app.py and then here you can see we are using flask now uh, for example like this flask is quite good enough we don't need anything else okay this is quite good enough now here you can see uh, what we are doing here in the code is uh, we are saying that okay if any request is coming to uh, root of the website so let's say if somebody types uh, game dot your website dot com then it is going to open up this uh, game dot html so user will essentially be able to play the games on the website okay uh, and then we are also uh, having some other code which is related to sending message on telegram so uh, i showed you how to basically receive a message or score in the telegram itself so this is the part which is handling it and there is this webhook part which uh, handles incoming data requests from telegram okay so this is the code is quite uh, simple especially if you have some exposure to python or flask but in any case, you can just go ahead and use this example and play around with this one. So uh, the third file, which is uh, .env, this contains Telegram bot token. Okay, so we just need these three files and then we can go ahead and run it. For example, let's say if I do uh, Python app.py, you can see our game is running and we can access it on uh, this location. Here you can see uh, this has opened a web page now right now if you see we are seeing player okay we are not really seeing name of the telegram user because we are running this app uh, directly okay so once we embed it within telegram we are going to see the actual actual player detail for example here you can see if when i ran it through telegram like when i clicked on player you can see my name, uh, my telegram name and my telegram username, all of these detail is being shown here. Okay, and uh, when I click on submit score, it also shows my username and my name here. So if you run it standalone, those details are not going to get captured. But uh, other than that, if you see everything else is uh, quite same. Now let's go ahead and close it. So you saw how the program is running. 
now the only thing which we need to do is we can host that program on any server okay and then we need to run it behind any domain name so for example here you can see i have the server where i actually loaded the code so i'm just going to clear the screen i'm going to do ll and here you can see list of directories so here you can see env file app.py file and templates file which uh, i just copy pasted here uh, i'm going to give you the link of the code you can also do the same and then we have requirements.txt file for setting up uh, python virtual environment so if i open the requirements.txt file these are the three uh, packages which you need okay and then uh, after that it's quite simple you can just uh, set up virtual environment and then do python app.py this is just going to run the website okay now there are of course uh, some settings also needs to be done uh, to basically redirect your domain to this application now that part probably i'll cover in some other video uh, because that requires some dns understanding but uh, if you have set up any web uh, any website it's pretty simple you go to your domain name service provider for example you might have purchased a domain from a hosting a godaddy whatever you just want to point uh, the dns entry to this server and then you should be able to open the game uh, website so for example uh, if i do game.techbloomeracademy.com this is where i'm pointing the game right now you can see we are able to access our game okay so this was the first step now what we need is we can copy this uh, username uh, i'm sorry we can copy this web url uh, and then we can go to telegram let's go ahead open up bot father and here you can create a new bot uh, so in order to create a new bot you can do slash new bot and then you can give a name to this bot so i'm just going to call it for example uh, tg game bot for youtube and okay so this is what i'm going to call it uh, and for the username also i'm going to give it the same name so now you can see uh, telegram has given us this bot token okay now next thing which we uh, are going to do is we are going to run this command which is called set menu button hit enter and it is going to ask you choose a bot to set up a custom menu button so we are going to select uh, this bot which we have created uh, which is called tg game bot yt bot okay and i'm going to paste the url of our gaming website so that's going to be uh, let me open up again so we don't make any mistake Okay, so I'll copy this URL and I'm going to paste that URL here. And now it is asking what is the button name going to be called. So for example, you saw uh, the button name was called play. You can give any name you want. For example, you can call it uh, game or you can call it play. So since it's a game, I'm just going to call it play. And you can see everything is set up. Now if I go to this bot, which is TG game bot YT bot. Here you can see we have option of start uh, this is typical you know you get when you interact with any bot and now you can see there is an option of play okay so if i click on play uh, it's going to show you this one that it is opening up a mini bot whatever terms and condition etc now let's go ahead click on confirm now here you can see we are you know our game is running here and it is also able to capture our username and also if i submit the score you can see our score is being our score is basically going to be shown here now one thing if you notice here our score was not sent here that's because of the bot token we also need to update the bot token in the env file so i'm just going to go here and here in the env file since i created a new bot and i had old bot token here i'm just going to give a new bot token which we got from bot father so i'm just going to go to bot father and this is the bot token which we have received we are going to put that token here just save it and then we are going to run uh, this again now we should be able to we should be able to still rerun it everything is working fine now i'm going to launch it again from uh, telegram let's click on play click on tap me click on submit score 
and here you can see now we are receiving the message saying that whatever the score which which we achieved has been recorded okay so this is uh, that's how easy it is to create any kind of uh, gaming bot on telegram and if you need uh, further help feel free to reach out to me either on fiverr or you can you can write a uh, write a comment if you need let's say further clarification so that's all in this lesson and now i'm going to see you again in the next lesson